Hello drivers, so today we got a 2013 Nissan Crest and I'm going to show you how to do tune-up. I'm going to replace all six plugs and ignition coil on this minivan I have right here with me. Okay, this is a 2013 Nissan Crest. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is just remove these windshield wipers to get space because I'm going to remove, oh, I'm going to move this right here just to get enough space. So I'm gonna get a, a flat screwdriver and just remove that out of the way. And same thing with this one right here. You do the same thing here. Just be, uh, you gotta take your time though, be careful. Okay, and just flat screwdriver just to remove those. Then we're gonna move the screwdriver. Okay, I mean the screw, not the screwdriver, sorry, the screw. So we got a 916 to remove this. Let's remove this two, two screw. Okay, when you're removing the windshield wiper, you want to bend these like this. And, as, and usually before you move the windshield wiper, always mark your spot. Usually I don't mark it because I already have an idea where it's going to go back. But it's good to just mark it. So to so remove these after you move the screw, just bend it like this. Bend it. You want to bend it first and then you take time to rack it out. Okay? And you do the same thing to the other one. So what I usually do, this small screw right here, I usually put it back because I don't want to lose it, okay? You want to make sure you put back those small screws. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to take out these pins right here. All these pins going to come out, okay? All these pins right here. Just want to take a flat screwdriver, same thing. Take your time and move it up. Let's see if you can screw. Take out the top first, like this. Same thing with this one. Let's remove it. Remove all of the, all of these the same way. So as you can see, right now I can I, I can I can remove it a little bit. All the pins out. The next thing you gotta watch for, you see you have a little pin right here, you gotta make sure to push that through for, for take everything off. You got one pin right here and one pin on the other side. Okay, as you can see right now, I'm gonna remove this off. Once you move the two pins, you just take your time, rack it out. Remove it. And As you can see, before you move it, you got these um, wrench shield wiper holes. We gotta disconnect these. So we gotta really be careful when, when you disconnect these holes. So what I'm doing right now, we're just gonna remove these holes first. Move it from the connection. And then right here, we have the connection, uh, uh, the connection now that we really wanna remove. Just spin it little by little. You gotta take time and put it in between the holes and the connection. And I just gotta take my time and prise it out like that, you know. And after that, now I could get to remove everything. Okay. So the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna move. Remove this, uh, whatever you call it, uh, the bracket for the uh, windshield. We're gonna move everything. Remove all this panel right here. Okay, all these screws you're looking at right now, we're gonna move it. I think it's a 10 millimeter. So what I would do, I would move this connection of the windshield motor, it's better. And then I'm just gonna remove all these screws from the motor to make it easier. You want to just clear everything out the way. So 
So these are the motor screw. The best thing I usually do is put it right back where the motor was. You don't want to put the wrong screw, you know what I mean? Put it right back where the motor was. Remember you gotta continue to take out all these small screws. all small screws okay so if you have the same car say a minivan right in the corner right there we have a 30 millimeter screw we got to remove those two one is right on the driver's side and the other one is on the passenger side as you can see always remember those those screw those screw once I screw them out I would all, I would just put them right back that's I don't make any mistake when everything is finished okay so also you gotta remove this rubber piece right here. There's a screw right here. We gotta remove this. This is not for the strut, this is for the connect, this is for the um panel also. Okay, this should be a 30 millimeter. And the one that I show you on the driver's side, you don't have to move that one. That one don't connect to the panel. Only one of the those connect to the panel, and it's this one. Okay, that one connect to the panel, and that's the passenger side. Remember, these are covered, so you gotta make sure you remove these. See them? After you, you remove those two screws, you gotta also remove these. These are connected to the panel. That's you don't have to remove the holes. Once you, once you remove this, also these screws from the panel, you just drop this down, and you're good to go. Okay, so I didn't, re I didn't need to remove these two screws. I just moved the one from the panel, boom. Just drop it down like this and that's it, leave it right there. This one now, you just flat screwdriver again, press it and you pull it out. Remember, you gotta remove the connection from the brake. The brake line or the brake hydraulic reservoir so what I will do with this I will just press this down inside here put it right through so I have space to remove the, the panel out okay so now we're gonna take our time remove the panel So we're gonna remove the cover. So to remove the intake manifold, we gotta move these three screw. Okay, 10 millimeter. All it just in case. You don't want to make it make it anything break. Want to move this connection? You got some connection right here, I think it's one, I think it's two. One right here and one right, right at the end. These are connected to the intake manifold, you gotta move those. Plus you can move this rail. I think it's connected to the, uh, the, the fuel or whatever the case it is, but remove all these lines. So the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna remove the ear intake. Just remove the screw here and just remove this off. So after I remove the ear intake, we're going to use a special screw, uh, a, a, a star screw, just to remove these. Just remove the... Uh... Okay, so I don't need to take off all these screws. I just need to remove this one wire from here and remove the throttle bottle connection. Okay, the throttle connection or whatever you call it. Okay, then I can remove the intake manifold with the throttle off. Just remember, remove these two holes right here, okay? So right now we're gonna move the two screws in between. Yeah. 
So after I remove the screw, as you can see, I have enough space now to remove all these screw around the intake manifold. I can hopefully I can pull it up. So after you, you remove all the screws, you want to make sure you can at least move it a little bit. So what I will do next now, there's a back hose, there's a hose in the back. This here, we got to remove this hose. You just get a plier, remove this hose. Okay. And then after that, you should be able to remove everything. Just remember, you want to move also any connection in the way, like a hose, especially this one. Alright, right, I'm going to leave these and I'm going to unscrew this because I don't want to mess up any adjustable inside this connection here. Okay, I'm just going to remove the hose instead. Leave this on the intake. this connection also and then we're gonna remove this one and that should be it should be it yeah this one here okay. okay we got a 10 millimeter screw right at the back that should be the last screw I have to screw up and then to remove the intake you can see that silver paper right there that's the last screw we got a bracket right there okay that's the last one I got to screw up, then it should be, should be good. That's what it looked like. So now you can see everything. See, you can see the... Now I reach the plugs. All I got to do now is just change it back, the, 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 the rear plugs. Those three, you see the, the three in the front is easy to So we just first disconnect this. You know whatever is in the way, just disconnect it. Disconnect these two. Disconnect everything that's in the way. And we can remove the ignition coil. Ten millimeter, remove the screws. These these um these spark plug you need a 14 millimeter to, to remove it so just take your time screw it until it loose all three Okay, so right now we're going to replace our new plugs and after this we replace ignition coil. And you don't want remember when you tighten your plugs don't over tighten. Press it down properly. Just remember, connect all the connection back to the ignition coil. What I would do, 
Remember, before you put back your intake manifold, I will just replace the the gasket for this. So when you're buying the ignition call and plugs, just just buy it. Remember to buy the gasket. It's important just to change it. Okay, you could just clean clean this off a little bit. Show you what you know. Replace it, the gasket. Okay, so now we're on the intake manifold uh, gasket. So you want to do, as you can see, small, big, small, big. So you want to make sure the one that you're going to put on is matched up first, like that. All right. You just get a like a simplest mistake you could make whenever you put in this gasket. All right. And what I usually do, this screw, I usually would get a tape, tape it on, that you don't lose it. Alright, that's it. You want to make sure it connect in properly. So right now you want to make sure once you put back the intake manifold, you want to know at least that everything connect, the screw connect. And make sure nothing is not underneath the intake manifold. Okay, so also remember connect back your two holes on the throttle body. But, you know, always remember this is important. Connect back these two holes before you connect your ear intake. Okay, these are pretty easy in the front. So these just replace this ignition call and ignition plug. Just remember connect back these holes. Very important. So what I'm gonna do, the best thing to do before I connect all 10 millimeter screw, I connect the main, one of the, uh, the big screws first. You know what I mean? Just to hold in the, uh, the, the frame or whatever you call it, bracket. Okay, as you can see, I put it back. All right. Remember to put back the brake. Reservoir. Remember to connect back your windshield wiper or your, I mean your motor for your wiper. Remember your connection for your wiper. Gotta connect back this one. Remember, put, put your pin back. And it's kind of difficult to put back. So as you can see, I connect everything back. What I'm just gonna turn on the vehicle right now and just listen it, just to hear how it sounds. And then that should be it. Okay, everything is sound, everything sound good so that's it oh, that's all you tune up for 2013 Nissan Crest okay hopefully this help you if you like the video share the video share it to someone who, who, who can help you know